So what we gonna do? We gonna scroll through Instagram and we gonna see all the type of bullshit that I find today. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> all right, so I guess Gloria thinks she looks like Rihanna. I don't really think so, but I can see like, you know, slight similarities, but not really. <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, oh. <laughs> Nah, hold on, bro. My boy got an adrenaline rush off of that. Hold on. <laughs> Let's just ride oh out of God. a Clint Eastwood movie. Whoa! That is Eric Popper. <laughs> Only in Florida, bro. I can't understand why motherfuckers still live in Florida, bro. Like, why do you live there? There's only this type of shit happening on a daily. Like, this is the type of shit... This is how crazy Florida is. This, you see this video right here? My nigga busting off like, uh, fucking, all right, cool. I don't have a name for it, but <laughs> this nigga is shooting off his handgun like it's a military war zone, bro. And only in Florida could this happen and him walk completely free. Like, nah, nah, that's nothing, bro. You know what I mean? That's not a big deal, nigga. Chill. <laughs> like, that nigga was just trying to defend himself. This was on a highway, bro. I remember seeing this video a couple months back. This nigga was shooting off on a highway, bro. And I'm sure it was like, homie had, had flashed the gun at him and he had, was defending himself. But, bro, imagine you in traffic with your babies just trying to get to school or get back from work or, you know what I mean? Whatever. And these niggas is on the highway bussing, bro. Eric Popper said he was being tailgated on the highway on his way to work. See what I'm talking about? That's early times, bro. You could be on the, you could be in the fucking, jeez, you could be in there, in there with your kids and shit. Uh, yeah, and then dash camera video obtained by Local 10 News shows Popper slamming on his brakes and opening fire seconds later. Florida Highway Patrol trooper said the other driver hurled a water bottle towards Popper's Toyota Venza, <laughs> but Popper maintains it was gunfire. <laughs> nah, you, you gotta be kidding me, bro. This nigga's last name is Popper. Bro, the nigga, the nigga's last name is Popper. Like, this is too ironic, bro. <laughs> Popper was popping off on a highway, like, full speed, ready for action, ready for the drama, ready for war. I don't know what's up with Popper, bro. Popper mama should have named him something different, bro. Eric Popper. <laughs> Popper was standing on business, my nigga. That's crazy. Uh... Alright, what else do we got here? It might be time for ESTG to come home. <laughs> I ain't saying shit about that man, bro. I ain't saying shit about that man or his hairline, bro. We not doing that. We not doing the the, the scandalous slander of niggas' hairlines, bro. You know, it's gonna, it's, it'll be you next. You feel me? I ain't got shit to say about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck does this even mean, bro? This nigga said his hands bisexual? What does that fucking mean, my nigga? Like, you need to clarify. Ever since I tweeted my hands bisexual, there's been a lot of LGBTQ going on in my D And that's not what I meant, cuz. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, yo. You had me confused for a second, bro, so I don't blame him, my nigga. Like, hey, if they slide it in the DMs now, bro, that's your fault, my nigga, that you sent out mixed messages, bro. <laughs> now I'm, like, taking it in. Now I'm getting what you're saying. Like, you know, you, uh, I, I don't even want to say it because I just I feel uncomfortable even discussing it. But I get the perception of, I get the concept of, yeah, you, you, you may touch yourself and then you may touch a girl stuff. You feel me? So it's like, your hand's bisexual. But like, come on, son. Like, why would you say it like that, bro? Why, why, 
Why are you playing that game? Ah, <laughs> uh, yo. Bro, what am I hearing? <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. Whoa. Oh, no. Hey, Blueface, you brought this upon yourself, man. <laughs> and why would you even talk about that? This nigga said it was a nigga who spread his whole ass cheeks open in a photo that he sent them. It's like, bro, I wouldn't even want to rediscuss that or rehash that. I wouldn't want to bring it back up because I'd be like re-scarred all over again, bro. Like the, the, the mental imagery would flash back up in my mind as I was typing it. <laughs> <laughs> bro! No! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, Shannon Sharp is crazy. Look, I seen this the other day too, and I'm like. I see what she's trying to do. She's trying to make that nigga look bad. Like he had her tied up in the bedroom like a sex slave. Like that's all he wanted. Just like four times a night. He was just digging her back out, nigga. Like, you feel me? This is uh, Scottie Pippen's ex-wife talking about she had to have sex four times a night. Four times a night. Four times a night. Like she was like a slave, bro. She was just tied up in there. Fucking. That's all. That's all he. That's all that nigga had her doing. Just tied up in there. Busting nuts, nigga. Like, you feel me? <laughs> and I was like, I see you're trying to make the nigga look bad, but you might actually have the opposite effect. My nigga Scotty's phone is probably buzzing right now, nigga. Like his his phone line is popping. Like it's like he he he's turning down pussy at this point. Like you feel me? Like you, I think you kind of played yourself, shorty. If like you were going for that, I think you kind of had the opposite effect. You feel me? Um, but Shannon Sharp said, that's why Pip was pla plagued with back frog. Wait, how come he put a Q instead of a G, bro? Somebody need to tap Unk on the shoulder and, like, let him know how to spell plague, my nigga. Like, because Q ain't even supposed to be anywhere in there at all. Plaked? Pip was plaked with back problems during his career? My back hairs from reading this. Larissa Pippen said she had sex four times a night for 23 years while married to Scottie Pippen. No break, she said. You feel me? Mm. I, look, I'm just going to say this, y'all. Uh, and y'all going to go ahead and cancel me after this. But look, if, if, if your man needs too much sex for you, then, like, hire some help. You y'all can't be mad. Y'all can't be mad when this nigga get like he looking out for you, really, because it's too much of a burden for you. You know what I'm saying? The the once a week or the three times a week or however much he needs it a week, that's too much for you. It's a burden on you. You feel what I'm saying? So instead of getting upset that he has a side chick, you should be grateful. You should be like, yo, thank you. Thank you, because all this dick you trying to give me, I, you know what I mean? I'm not ready for it. I don't want it. I don't need it. You you take it somewhere else, and you give it to somebody else. You feel me? <laughs> so, uh, why why y'all get upset? Y'all don't be fucking your niggas, and then y'all be upset as hell when them niggas go and get a side chick. Just be grateful. The reason why Rick Ross wants to learn martial arts. 10 same times 10. Jiu-Jitsu master to train me. I want to learn pressure points. I want to and make a nigga freeze. <laughs> yeah, I need a ten same times <laughs> ten. Hey, look, I know Ti started his shit. <laughs> Yeah, look, I know, I know, I know T.I. started doing his comedy shit, but this nigga, Rick Ross, need to do a tour, bro, because that nigga funny. He funny as shit, bro. Like, I dead ass, I'll, I'll pay money. I'll pay good money to go see a Rick Ross comedy.
Candy says, escape booking fee is three times more than SWVs. Imagine having the biggest ego for the most non-singing person in the entire music industry. It's a lot of shade being tossed around right there, boy. And I, like, as far as I know, uh, both of those groups are irrelevant. I have not heard SWV drop a song in 20 years, and neither have I heard Escape drop a song in like 20 years. So like, I, I mean, for for y'all to be like not popping, y'all should like kind of chill out on the whole ego thing. Really, that's how I feel about it. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna say nothing, man. I'm gonna get myself in trouble, bro. I'm not gonna say nothing. I ain't finna say shit, bro. My cousin doing some crazy ass shit. This, yo, look, this nigga is from Trinidad, bro. It's no way in hell ever you should see this nigga shirtless, bareback. None of that with snow on the ground, bro. I don't know how. Like, let me let me press play. Let me see the motivational message behind it, cause it's it's some motivational shit going on. Wait, this nigga got a if drone you don't now. Make waves, be mediocre, oh, be normal. This nigga is killing the game. Slack him. Nah, bro. If you Yo, cuz cuzzy, I love you, man. You tripping, bro? There's no reason. There's no reason on God's green earth for you to be doing this type of shit. Like, you know, I get it. I get it. You're trying to build up and mentally so that you can push yourself through anything and any type of challenge. I get it. There's got to be something else you could do. Like, you got, you could hold your breath and, like, dunk underwater for, like, you know what I mean? And try and get a longer time each day, bro. It's, you don't got to do that, bro. You tripping. All right, fuck this shit, man. I'm done. I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm trying something new. Uh, other shit got boring a little bit for me, and also it's like, you know, it takes a lot of time coming here and, like, you know, put mental energy into, like, having something to say about something in general I just don't give a fuck about, bro. Like, I don't care about celebrity news. I started speaking about it because it was an attraction point, something that people would tap in to check out, right? But I don't give a fuck I don't sit around and talk about celebrities all day. I like, I don't in general. Like, you know what I mean? I don't care. Uh, I might have a little quick conversation here or something about like, you know, some mache room or whatever, but I'm not sitting around and talking about these motherfuckers all day, bro. Cause I don't care. I have my own life. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get my millions. I'm trying to be a celebrity. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm trying to figure out ways to, like, keep this shit fresh and, you know, different and, you know, uh, give myself little things that I could put on my page and that would show my personality, like, you know. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. But y'all already know what it is. Family money, everything. Let's get it, baby. Whoa! Ow! <laughs>